Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Cali Hiker and I was wandering through Tulare County today and I came across a state park that just so happens to have a very small campground but figured I'd do a quick uh, review of it. Uh, the state park we're at is Colonel Allensworth State Historic Park. Um, it used to actually be an active town, now it's just kind of the historical buildings that remain in the town. Um, but as I mentioned, it does have a campground and that's what we're looking at right now. The name of the campground, as you can see, is Lieutenant Colonel John L. W. or L. Whitehead Jr. Campground. It's a memorial campground that they named after him. It looks like in 1993, so I'm assuming this campground's about a quarter century old. And we're just gonna look at, you know, just basically one of these campsites real quick. You can see over there, it looks like they have a bathroom building with a water fountain, as well as a, a couple of little. Uh, stalls inside. We'll go take a closer look at that see if it has showers, but um, I don't believe it does. So this is just, uh, I don't even think this campsite's actually numbered. I don't think any of them are numbered. Well, actually, yeah, this is campsite 14. And you can see it basically has a fire pit, a table, and a little overhang. And then, of course, you can put a tent wherever, or if you're camping in an RV spot, you can see that you could probably easily fit, you know, a 40-foot RV in there pretty easily. I mean, they're pretty generous pulling areas but all the campsites as you can see and there's not many of them they're all basically the same look it's located in the central valley of california so in the summertime it's going to get probably up to 100 degrees or so in the middle of the day and in the winter it's going to get into the 50s and 60s uh, i doubt this campground gets a whole lot of use uh, throughout the year um, except when they do the reenactments i'm sure people come out from you know all over the place to reenact uh, the, the town life but uh, it's definitely not an ugly campground. Uh, this is actually, for those of you wondering, uh, wondering, there is a railroad track right there, and then there's that little highway over there. So there is some noise, uh, definitely when the trains go by. And then the Sierra Nevada is about maybe 20 to 30 miles that way, maybe a little bit farther than that. And then right over there, there's two camp post sites. But uh, anyway, we're going to take a quick look at the bathroom, see if there's anything interesting about it. I doubt it. It's, it probably doesn't have showers. Be back in a moment. Wow. What do you know, guys? There is actually showers in this campground. I was not expecting that. Let's take a look, see what we have here. See, it's kind of like your basic shower. Wow, these are not pay showers. These showers are actually free. That's incredible. I have been to many state parks, and I gotta tell you, I've never seen a shower that is free at California state parks nowadays. Um, so there must be a reason why they're free. Maybe they just don't have the money to uh, transfer them to, you know, a pay system. Um, but that's good. I mean, you know, camping here is 20 bucks a night, $18 if you're a senior citizen, 16 years old or older. I actually got a penny right here. Let me pick that up. But um. So if you're 62 or older, you get a $2 discount, $18 a night. This is the bathroom building. It's got a water fountain. I will say, though, that at the visitor center, which is actually closed right now, they had a sign up that said, and this has you know, been since the town was founded, they do have a problem with arsenic in the water. And last year, or 2017 in June, they tested the water, and the arsenic level was actually above what it was supposed to be. So you probably, just for safety, don't want to drink the water. I'm not sure if showering in it is dangerous, but probably don't want to drink it. Bring your own water. <laughs> and you can see over here, trash cans. They've got outdoor sinks, outdoor hand dryer, even a faucet. Um, now, I don't know what this is. What is this over here? I didn't even notice this. I'm, is this a dump station or what? Let's take a look, shall we? It's not a dump station, but it does have water spigots, which is kind of weird. Oh, wait, no, it is a dump station. Never mind. Dump station costs money. <laughs> dump station's 10 bucks for, you know, whatever. I don't have an RV, so I don't know exactly what it is. It does accept credit cards only, though. It doesn't look like it accepts cash. So there's another thing. You know, if you just need to dump your load and you're passing through, maybe come here and dump your load. I'm, I doubt anyone would put up a serious fight, even if you're not staying here. I mean, they're still making 10 bucks, and then if you want to tour this, the actual state park, it's only 6 bucks per vehicle. You can see this is a better view of the, the town. That's actually the original library, that uh, this little green building right here. But um, anyway, back to the campground. You can see 
it's actually a pretty decent looking campground looks pretty decent for like winter camping i think you could yeah you could definitely even if you had a hammock you could easily hammock camp just using the pillars of each one of these little uh, pavilions um, no hookups um, for electricity or water although you can see they do have water spigots in some areas but i do not believe they necessarily want you hooking up to that i believe they well, maybe they don't care because that water spigot over there doesn't look like it costs money to use. So if you need to fill your water tank for dishwashing and stuff, if you had an RV, you know, probably wouldn't want to drink the water, obviously, because of the possible arsenic. But you could easily Let's see if this is on. Yep. You can see you got pigeons in there, too. But yeah, so you got water here for dishwashing, stuff like that. And then if you need to fill your gray water tank or whatever... For your RV or whatever, you could fill up there and dump there for dumpings, 10 bucks. But anyway, enough talk. Um, wow, look, they, wow, we're learning more stuff. Never mind, we need to talk a little bit more. There is a little community fire pit right here. I doubt if they have ranger programs here. This park really seems to be pretty understaffed year round. But if you wanted to have a you know community fire, you could do it right here. And you got some old benches you could sit on and enjoy the evening. So yeah, anyway, I think that's about it, honestly. You know, it seems like a pretty decent campground, you know, pretty decent area. It doesn't look like to be a whole lot of, you know, hassle from crazy campers at night if you just want a peaceful night and it's not overly expensive. Uh, a lot of state parks in California, the price, you know, to camp in them nowadays is 30, 35, 40 bucks a night and this is only 20. So it's a decent price, especially considering that you get a free shower and... You get a dump station for an additional 10 bucks. Anyway, this is Cali Hiker. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and uh, passing through. Definitely take think about it. Definitely think about stopping here at uh, Colonel Allensworth State Historic Park Campground.